Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Monica, and today I'm finally doing my long-awaited affordable makeup brush showdown. So a couple of months ago, I went out and I bought three separate brush sets from three affordable brands. One from e.l.f. Cosmetics, one from Wet n Wild, and one from BH Cosmetics. My favorite like everyday day-to-day -day brushes, the majority of them come from Sigma. And I know Sigma used to be a more affordable brand, now their prices are kind of on par with like what you would get from MAC or another high-end or middle-end brand when it comes to brushes. And I really wanted to expand out and try some more affordable options when it came to makeup brushes. And I really thought the best way to do this would be to explore bundle or makeup brush roll options. So the reason this video took so long, I purchased all of these kits like right around the holiday of 2018, is because I really wanted to use all of the brushes. I wanted to wash them multiple times to make sure like they would actually hold up throughout a couple of washes and then come back and give you my full thoughts about which affordable brushes I would actually recommend. So let's go ahead and jump in. I've had these all for a while, so I'm kind of separating them in like my little coffee mugs. I got both of these from the Taylor she did season five of 15 days of foundation and she had mugs for sale so i have those this is the elf brush set that i purchased this is the wet and wild brush set and then the bh one is just kind of loose this is the bh one <laughs> let's start with the elf set so i purchased this actually in store back when there actually were still elf stores that's a little bit upsetting we had a couple nearby and i actually really liked getting to see the products in person and like browse around but this brush set is still available online it is a 19 piece brush set so out of all of these kits you do get the most brushes in this one and it retails for $50 $50 so I did purchase this in store for that price and in addition to all the brushes you also get a brush roll uh, I'm not a huge fan of brush rolls unless I'm traveling and even if I'm traveling I use my little makeup brush box kind of thing but I mean I didn't like the roll. That's what I'm trying to say. I did not like the roll that it came with. So let's go through quickly all the brushes that you get in this kit. So in this kit, you get an even split between face brushes and eye brushes. You get eight face brushes and you get eight eye brushes. So you get a fan highlighting brush. You get this blush brush, which really isn't shaped like I would want a blush brush. It's more shaped like an under eye setting brush, but personal preference. You get a concealer brush, which honestly, it's a bit too soft to use for concealer. I never used it for concealer because it just didn't work out that great. You get the Selfie Ready Foundation Brush, which this one was actually pretty nice. It's nice and thick. It kind of reminds me of the Sigma F82, the round top kabuki, except this one isn't as stiff. Like there's a lot of give in the bristles on this one. You also get the contouring brush. And this one I actually did use quite a lot. It's just a stiff contouring brush. It reminds me a lot of my NARS Eda brush that I use just to place my contour powder and then I blend it out with a different brush. I never used this one. This is the angled foundation brush I, I really don't really have a use for uh, paddle foundation brushes uh, theoretically this could be used for like face masks and like skincare but I don't know whenever it comes to makeup I'm either using a like kabuki brush or a sponge uh, next we have the highlighting brush which is kind of big for highlighting like I use this mainly also for under eye setting. Last but not least for the face brushes, one I actually really enjoyed is the stipple brush, the duo fiber brush. I love using this when applying blush. I'll apply blush on either with this or with another brush and then just really blend everything together with this. This was actually a really nice brush. Moving on to the eye brushes, you have an eyeshadow C brush, which is just kind of like a domed stippling, not stippling, like a domed, uh, Oh, can I do words this morning? So this is just like a, a thick bristled domed brush you'd use to place shadow all over your lid or your crease. You get a small precision brush, which I mainly used this for inner corner highlighting. You could also use this to cut out your crease if you were so inclined. They have what they call just the blending brush, which is kind of like this do like it's got like a tip to the middle of it almost. I didn't really use this for blending so much as I did just for setting down powder over my primer. 
Next we have a crease brush, which I have to say this is actually a nice size and shape for a crease brush on my eyes. It does tend to get difficult to look for crease brushes that work well when you have like super hooded eyes, but this one has, I would say the perfect size and shape. It's just a little too, it gives, it gives too much, honestly. Like I would want a little bit more stiffness for what I'm gonna be using this for. You get a spoolie. You also get a small angled liner brush, which I actually really liked using this for my eyebrows. I use this a lot with the ABH Dip Brow. Uh, you, get an, you also get an angled eyeliner brush, which it flared out like pretty bad. Can you even, that's a... Yeah, this brush kind of flared out pretty bad. I couldn't really get any accurate like lines out of it so I rarely use this one as well and then the last brush is a concealer brush which this isn't what I would use for concealer uh, I think I mainly use this to apply my glitter glue all over my lid so those are all the brushes quality wise they do feel really cheap like they're really light I feel like if I just like you hear that? Like, I feel like if I hold them too hard, they're gonna break. Uh, for the majority of the brushes, I didn't touch them because they're, I don't know, I feel like they're not brushes that are conducive to your everyday face. Like, none of these brushes, I tried to use them, but they really don't fit into my routine. And they feel lightweight, they feel not good, and the br I will say the bristle quality is actually quite nice. So if you want any of these brushes, if you know you will use them, they are very soft. They do not feel scratchy on your skin, and they do wash fairly well. Like I do my normal uh, brush wash routine. I did a whole video about how I wash my brushes, so if you missed that, I'll throw it up in the cards. And actually in that video, I do wash quite a few of these brushes. <laughs> but they actually do hold up really well, but I am not reaching for these. I'm not. They feel cheap. They aren't shaped right. They're not exactly what I need from a brush set. So out of the e.l.f. set, which ones did I actually really like and would recommend? I like the contour brush, but to be quite honest, it's not hard to do a contour brush if all you're doing is placing the color down. So it's just a dense brush. It just feels really nice. It didn't shed and it does what it needs to do. I also really liked the stippling brush, the dual fiber brush. I just like having a clean one on hand in case I need to brush away fallout or if I want to blend out my blush or my contour. And it's nice having an extra one around. Um, and because it's such a lightweight brush with bristles that are like this, I can kind of understand it being cheap. So I actually did enjoy this one and I did keep it in my everyday brush kind of roll drawer kind of thing because I did like having a clean one on hand. For the eye brushes there really wasn't anything special. Most of these you can find better elsewhere. I liked the concealer brush like I said for either cutting my crease or for putting um, glitter glue all over my lid. The spoolie was nice but it's kind of hard to mess up a spoolie guys. It's kind of yeah. I like the small angle brush for putting on my brow product. I really like this with the dip brow. This is a lot softer. Uh, it gives it gives a lot more than your typical angled brush. Like I have the ABH angled brush and this one is a lot softer. So it, there is gonna be a little bit more give when you're doing that. But I did like having this on hand again when my other brush was dirty, so it makes a good backup. Last but not least, I actually liked the small precision brush for doing my inner corner highlight. All that being said, do I think that this set is worth $50? No. <laughs> no, I only used, really, five of the brushes. I did not like the majority of the face brushes. I didn't really think the quality was there. Yeah, I wouldn't recommend picking up sets from e.l.f. I picked up a couple of other brush sets from e.l.f. and I've just been like, meh, meh. So those brushes that I mentioned before, I would recommend picking up individually if you need those brushes, but if you're looking for a nice set, I would steer clear. Next, let's talk about the BH Cosmetics set that I picked up. So this is the Marble Luxe set and I picked this up in store actually at Riley Rose. Rest in peace, Riley Rose. My local store just shut down. <laughs> this is a 10-piece set that currently retails on the BH Cosmetics website for $42. It's on sale right now for $33.60, but when I picked it up, it was just around $30 
at Riley Rose because it was on sale. In this set, you almost get an even split between eye brushes and face brushes. You get six face brushes and you get four eye brushes. First impression, like overall, these feel nice. The bristles are really, really soft and very, very dense. They feel heavy. Not heavy, but they feel like they're not gonna break in your hands. They actually feel very nice and they look really pretty. I gotta give them points for the packaging. This is gorgeous. The downside is that there's quite a few of the face brushes that I really can't find a use for. Like these behemoths. I get very confused when I see brushes this big because like, what am I gonna use you for? This, is, this was too big for me to use. Honestly, the biggest face brush that I would use is around this size, and that's to set my entire face with powder. Like, what am I supposed to use this for? <laughs> Unless I'm doing like a super light dusting of like a, a glowy powder. And even then, this is so dense. Like, that is dense. <laughs> it's so dense that you couldn't really use it as just like a food. Just, you know, I feel like I'm moving my makeup when I put this on my face. So that's the first downside is that this I have no use for this brush whatsoever The next brush is actually one that I used and this is just like a tapered powder brush You could use this for blush if you wanted but but I used this for overall just like setting my face with powder So I would just you know dab my powder on everywhere. It is a bit dense but I'm not gonna discount it for that because it's good quality and like everything feels secure and these honestly feel very nice. For their brush number three, these aren't really labeled. They just have uh, numbers on some of them and they don't have numbers on other ones. I don't know. But this is brush number three and this is a great dupe for the Sigma Kabuki brushes. This feels so secure. It's super dense. It feels incredibly soft. And this is what I used as a dupe for my Sigma F80 and F82 for putting on liquid foundation. It's honestly incredible. I am shocked at how soft this is. Like I could just do this all day. I'm shocked at how soft it is. It washes very well. It feels really nice. I incorporated this into my everyday just routine just because of how much I liked the brush. So point for that one. Their brush number four, um, wasn't quite sure how to use it. It's shaped like this and it's very, uh, it's not dense. I mean, it is dense, but it's not uh, stiff. It's not stiff. It, it gives very easily. So I think I was using this at one point just to like set my under eyes or even to put on like a very condensed kind of uh, blush. But this one, uh, it felt like it was just in the middle. Like it's very dense, but it's not stiff, but it's not big enough to use for like blush, but it's not, it's like a weird in-between brush. The last two face brushes I actually got a lot of use out of. Brush number six is this kind of like concealer brush that again, it's in like that middle ground of being dense but not stiff. I actually really liked this for powder setting my under eyes and it worked really well for that. So I did get a lot of use out of this one, but within the context of this set, I feel like we're getting a lot of odd brushes and not really what you could use for a full face. The brush I liked the most out of this one, if you can see a pattern here, was like the duo fiber brush right here. I have almost an identical brush to this from Sigma that I use every day to blend out my contour. Cause what I will do is just set the contour down of like that elf brush. So with a brush like this, I will just go boop, boop, boop and put the contour down. And then I go in with the duo fiber brush and just blend it out. And I love the way that it looks like that. This was, a perfect dupe for the brush I have from Sigma. It was great. I really liked this one. I think out of this set, I got the most use out of this brush. On to the eye brushes. Unfortunately, I really only got use out of two of the four. The first one that I actually really enjoyed was like this, this flat shader brush, which I could use to cut out my crease with a concealer, or I could use to put glitter glue on. I love how stiff it is. Like, it keeps its shape it has a really nice dome shape which makes cutting out the crease so easy like this is honestly like the best cut crease brush i've ever found the next brush that i really used was i think this is number eight i honestly can't tell why they're numbering brushes or whatever this is almost a perfect dupe for like the sigma e25 brush so it's got like that really nice kind of flared out top 
it has just enough give to really give you some nice blending either in your outer V or you could turn it and use it all over your crease. I got a lot of use out of this and it was the perfect size and shape for my eyes. Onto the two brushes I really didn't use. It was because they were just too big unfortunately. This is a like big fluffy crease brush and look how big that is. It's huge. I can't like uh, I can't really use that so I rarely touch this one. This one was a little bit better. I think this is brush number six, nine, nine. And I could use this just for like my outer V area, like right here, but it was again, too big for me to really use in my actual crease. So overall, I have to give BH Cosmetics major points for just the quality of the brushes. They held up really, really nice. They feel really nice. The bristles are incredible. But I have to discount this set because a lot of the brushes, like it feels like none of this really fits in an everyday routine. Um, I really would have liked to see one or two more eye brushes and maybe get rid of this giant behemoth of a brush that you're never going to use. And maybe make this concealer brush more into something that you'll actually use every day. I would like to see a brush that's like this but maybe not as dense as a blush brush or maybe bring in a lip brush that would be really nice. So I have to say the quality is there and it's amazing but I'm not getting full use out of this set because like what am I going to do with this? Last but not least we're actually going to go into my favorite of the brush sets the wet and wild set so this exact set that i picked up i got at walgreens during the holiday season i remember it being right around 30 dollars unfortunately i don't think it is really available anymore i found something on the wet and wild website that looks very similar but it doesn't look like the exact set the set on the wet and wild website is currently going for 24.99 discounted from 54.99 which god dang 54 dollars this is another 10 piece set where you get six face brushes and four eye brushes and i gotta say i was really impressed by most of these let's start with the face brushes uh none of these are labeled so i'm just going to show you what they are this is like a big face powder brush this is kind of the same size as the face brush from the bh cosmetics set that i could actually use and i loved this brush it's so soft it's dense but it moves and i just use this to set all of my powder every day that i used it i also really like how it feels it doesn't feel as heavy as the bh brushes but there's definitely weight in it and i really liked this tapered end uh it makes it a lot easier to store especially if you're storing them in like a cup like this they're just so much easier to do that way i loved this this is an amazing brush the next face brush this is more of a uh kind of rounded tapered brush and i really liked this not only for moving bake from under my eyes but also for applying blush this was very nice again everything feels really secure i like that they have this little like kind of spot on the holder where you can like put your thumb when you're applying everything it just it feels like a very luxurious experience when you're using these brushes when you're not paying a very luxurious price tag unless you buy it at the full price of the 54 don't do that <laughs> don't <laughs> the next brush is their contour brush and i did like this one better than the elf one that i mentioned earlier this is just again a very nice just kind of tapered dupe for the nars Eda brush that i can use to apply my contour shade before blending it out the next brush i'm talking about is so soft i've been doing this for like two minutes this is kind of like their flat top kabuki brush and i really like this one for foundation but it gives a little bit too much like if this had just been like a little bit stiffer it would have been a perfect dupe for my sigma f80 quite honestly i could still use this i use it the same way i use my sigma f80 to blend out foundation and then smooth it out with my sponge i gotta say it's so soft and uh I just i'm very impressed by these wet and wild brushes the next brush i really didn't get a whole use out of like i don't use fan brushes i've tried and i'm just not a huge fan but they <laughs> i'm not a huge fan but it is a very nice feeling brush the bristles didn't really fray or anything and i mean yeah, i mean it's there 
it's included. I don't use fan brushes, but if you do, it is a nice fan brush. The last face brush that we get is what I used for highlighter, and it's just kind of like a tapered highlighting brush, which reminds me a lot of another Sigma highlighting brush. And the same thing, I would just load up highlighter on one side and just go to town. Moving on to the eye brushes, I did get a lot of use out of these eye brushes compared to the other set's eye brushes, and I really liked them. So I kind of have right here like a sort of dupe for the Sigma E25, but if you can see, I don't know if it'll show up on camera, I did see some bristles start to like fray on the sides, but it still was a nice blending brush. I would typically use this in like the outer V and just bring it up a little bit into my crease. That being said, it was actually a nice size for my eye shape, so I could get a lot of use out of this. The next brush I didn't get as much use out of, but I could still use it. And this is kind of like their crease brush right here. It is a little big, but what I would do is just go in with this brush clean and just kind of blend out whatever was already in my crease. I couldn't use this to place color in my crease because of how big it is, but I actually could use it to give me a nice blend. The next brush I have is just like a flat kind of shader brush and I use this really to place colors all over my lid and in my crease. Last but not least we had like this kind of paddle brush. I think this is technically supposed to be a concealer brush but really eh. I used this to place down whatever eye primer I was using and then set it with powder. So quite honestly out of all the sets I got the most use out of the wet and wild ones and the wet and wild ones for me fit the bill perfectly. This is like from their pro line. I think these brushes are available individually on their website. I'm not sure how the cost works out individually, but these are the ones I'm actually bringing into my everyday brush roll. I want to say brush roll. I don't use brush rolls. My everyday brush like routine. <laughs> so out of all these sets, I would recommend the Wet n Wild one. This specific set comes out, I believe, every holiday season uh, with the specific packaging, but the brushes themselves should be available on the Wet n Wild website. So in conclusion, I would say for the most part, stay away from most of the e.l.f. brushes. The BH brushes are nice, but their kits don't really give you a full use, and so I would recommend picking those up as like ones or twos from the website if you're interested. And I really liked the Wet n Wild set. I felt like that brush set gave you an actual full face experience that you could actually like open up the box and do a full face of makeup with. So thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know down below if you've tried out any of these brands and if you're interested. I will have every brush set that I could find down in the description box. Let me know what your favorite affordable brush set is and I cannot wait to see you in my next video. Bye.